what's my channel hope you're all doing absolutely amazing today i am a shiny potato i'm doing a full day of eating to fuel for a 50 60 kilometer ultra marathon. i probably just need to start calling it a six hour ultra marathon because i don't know how far i'm going to run very excited that i don't know how far i'm going to run I think, that's, I think that's the joy of a russell back ultra marathon but yeah i've no idea how far i'm going to run i've no idea how it's going to go i am running through this ultra marathon so i'm not necessarily tapering for it i say i'm not fully tapering I'm easing off the runs a little bit, but I've got a 60 minute run today and Thursday I'll maybe do like a 12k So basically two 12ks. I just feel I don't want to taper off too much because I've got high rocks two weeks later and the focus of this month wasn't wasn't necessarily the ultra the ultra is an amazing thing to do and to complete it however the focus is definitely high rocks so i have to be careful that i'm at my fittest and my peak for high rocks um, and not the ultra so that's where we're at um reading a book at the moment by oh steve magnus do hard things would recommend it's fantastic so i'm gonna sit and read for a bit i've really just built my coffee i'm you know what? i'm having a bit of a fucking morning aren't I? oh also because you guys asked last time. Greens, I've been taking my greens now, this one in particular for maybe a month and a half. Um, it's much more affordable than a lot of the greens that are out there. It's from my protein. I also mix it with my beauty collagen. So I found the beauty collagen has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in. I feel like it's helping my skin. I feel like my skin is just, look at the glowy of my forehead. Um, and my hair has grown. I, don't, I just, I think it'll be to do with the beauty collagen, which is in the greens every morning. Obviously your greens is your multivitamin. It's got loads of things in it. Fluid helps keep everything balanced. Um, yeah, so you can use code Lucy D if you want to shop on my protein. It will get you some really, really good discount. That's the one thing with my protein. They do give you a very good discount. It is definitely cold at the moment. In the UK, the weather has just completely dropped, so I will be double layering um, because I'm just, I'm not the best. And to be fair, I'm all right in the cold. I'm pretty good in the cold and I don't mind it, but um, it's all about wrapping up a little bit warmer. I'm really particular with sports bras when I run. Like I don't care if they don't match, but they have to be comfy because I'm not having a tight sports bra on my neck. We're gonna go for a pinky pink outfit. This jacket's like a cropped jacket and it's actually looking hilarious. Um, however, because I have a very intense oiled hair mask in, also hair mask changes the game, guys. I think if you've got slightly, just like a little bit dry hair, put a hair mask in it, it's gonna change the game. So we're gonna do a cap today. I'm running with Ben this morning and he has to go somewhere after, so we need to get out. This is the run outfit. This is the one we're going for. See what I mean by it? It's like cropped. That looks really fucking weird. Regarding the shoes for the ultra, I don't do very well in a trail shoe. I don't know what it is. I think it's because they're very extremely like flat footed and they're just hella uncomfortable. I am gonna take two pairs with me though because it's very weather dependent. I do have a pair of trail shoes and they're okay, but they they just they just don't feel comfy at all and running on them for six hours does not sit well with me. So I'm basically gonna take this pair which are completely filthy and a little bit ruined anyway. They still have some good grip. These are the Nike Air Tempo next percent. And then I'm gonna take my, got like a Gore-Tex Nike trail shoe that I'm also gonna take with me, but it's just really dependent, isn't it? I don't really know how it's gonna go. We've got a running partner today. <laughs> we never actually run together because our goals have been, they're just not always the same. We've both got high rocks in Jan. Cause I've got the ultra, I've been doing some fucking really long runs and at like different paces. But we actually did a track session, didn't we? Yeah, I don't really need to Together. Exactly, we did a track session the other week and it was really good. No issue myself. Yeah, we were so fast as well. I think they're the fastest Ks that I've ever, ever ran. Yeah, same. Um, but because, why do you have a long, why do you have a 12 k as well? 60 minute run Still today. over 10 k that I've had on, so. There we go. So it's nice that we're, uh, we get to run together this morning. Heart rate is chilling. 136. I know, heart rate's very low at the moment. I think it's just because my aerobic fitness is a lot better because of these runs. Um, but this is one of my favorite weathers to run in. Yeah, I like, it's not too crazy, it's a little bit cold, but it's not raining like it was last week. No wind. No wind, sun is shining. It's actually really pleasant. And then we also get to run together, which is actually really nice. Nice run, isn't it? Beautiful. We are nearly 10K in. 
car rate 138 pace for 50. honestly it's been a well nice run um i think it'll be 12 okay, or yeah. just over we've kind of been at anywhere from 450 to five minute pace so yeah it's been well nice heart rate is gorgeously low obviously for the ultra pace is going to be anywhere from 530 to 545 i mean it could be six minutes to six minutes 30. i literally don't know yet don't know the terrain <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the aim is to survive. Don't know how I feel past 40k. It's all fun and games, but if the weather's like this, I've won. So that was a gorgeous run. I was far too hot in this little overlayer, um, but that was really nice. Really easily paced yet. 12.14 an hour, 457. Aerobic completely. That was nice. The only issue is my calves feel horrendous. I think I said this in like three videos and I've been naughty. Because I've not actually booked in for physio. I've had mass I had a massage last night, but it was just like an overall massage. It wasn't like actual physio, which is gonna help me benefit me. The reason I didn't get it this week though, I was so busy last week. The reason I didn't get it this week is because I've got the ultra on Saturday. If they do something physio sports wise that does not sit well with my calf, I'm a little bit screwed. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in the home gym now and just do 15 minutes of solid calf rehab and work because they do not feel groovy do you know what i'm awful for and i bet we're all awful for it i bet i'm honestly counting for everyone how terrible are we at stretching and doing mobility guys do you know what i really want to do and i'm like i'm gonna make this a thing oh my god also we're launching products we're launching my coach product i'm so excited so this is one of the bottles hopefully it won't be out of stock and you can get some so we have these we've got one that's a hydrated af on in a different color we've got t-shirts and we have barbell pads which is super exciting they've been in the works for for a while now to be fair but sorry what i was saying on my coach app i really want to bring in like a mobility section you can get 50 percent off joining the app below with code youtube 50 so make sure you get on that app. but i wonder if like a mobility section like this would actually be really helpful for you guys because it's the worst bit but for one it's painful so you don't really want to dive into that calf pain and two it's just you feel like it's really time consuming but it's not this is 10 minutes post run 10 minutes is all it is so if you're sat here and you don't do mobility like me because you are naughty make sure you do it okay i'm gonna go in i'm gonna wash the hair mask out my hair i honestly can't wait to do that and then i'm gonna get some food i have just dyed my eyebrows and do my lashes really quick oh fucking hell look it was in my eye then oh my god it's because it's dropped down that is not something you want you do not want dye on your face i'm probably just gonna leave my hair wet because I can't bother doing it i did a deep condition i got all the oil out you guys know i've had a real issue with my scalp um so i've been doing like deep cleaning like scalp massages because of that exact reason also this is new gymshark and i am obsessed it gives me the vibe of like adenola slash skims like it's really nice fitting i'm pretty sure it's released you can use code lucy to get a discount anytime i make some breakfast but first things first i'm going to put some of this on so this is the pure sport balm it's basically like a peppermint roll kind of thing so yeah cbd magnesium peppermint lemongrass and my cars feel like absolute poo at the moment so we're just gonna we're gonna slather it on gorgeous sunshine okay we're gonna have some breakfast we're going to have granola banana apple peanut butter honey cinnamon probably not chia seeds i'm actually usually in granola i'd put in prunes chia seeds it may, it's like a whole shebang however the week of a race i significantly cut down my fiber intake because you don't want to shit yourself do you there is breakfast large granola bowl got protein in do not change your diet on the week of a race or anything like that like eat the same there's certain things that i reduce and there's certain things that i increase so my carb intake increases during a week before a race, but also it's only Tuesday and I race on Saturday, so it doesn't drastically increase that much until Wednesday night. I start having like massive fuck off balls of pasta. Um, but yeah, just gorgeous. I have a ridiculous amount of work to be cracking on with for the next like hour to two hours. I have something that I'm doing for my coach app, but I can't really say yet because it's not announced. So much at work at the moment. Like, you know, when it's like behind the scenes that people don't see, that is what I've got going on now. We have um, nearly kind of finished the office now. We've got the little screen up, got a light up at the moment because I was filming them, we've got the board and everything like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna crack on. When I'm working, I will always have a full bottle 
of water or salts or electrolytes or something, especially if I've trained. So at the moment, I've got the My Protein Hydration Sachets in here. Um, I'm gonna have those. They're actually really nice. Like I, I rate them quite a lot. I had them around my Lanzarote Marathon as well. And I thought they were really good. But someone also said the other day, where are my glasses from? And you know, funnily enough, it was on Dragon's Den, the company who make these glasses were on Dragon's Den. It's called Pop Spec. They've got one in Chester. And I was like, oh my God, they're my glasses. Um, yeah, so they're from Pop Spec. I just took a 20 minute break uh, just to blow dry my hair, which is actually blow dried really nicely. It's, it's getting ludicrously long now. I need to get a cut. And then also Ben came back from his physio appointment and he came back with the Starbucks. And do you know what? I'm here for it. Guys, I have been sat down for like all the day. All the day and all the freaking time. But I am gonna have something to eat now. I feel absolutely starving, so I feel like I need quite a lot to eat. I actually don't know what my calories are at the moment. I just know that they're high. I'm just kind of eating off feel and kind of anything like that. I'm getting to the stage where I'm very full is how we're basing it. But I just need to show you something because I'm really proud of. Basically, you guys know I've been with Whoop for maybe coming up to two years. I don't know how long it is, but it's been a long time. Currently just got the charger on it, which is also a really clever feature, by the way. The fact that you can just have your charger on top of your Whoop. Let me just show you my new Whoop strap though. How gorgeous is that? Look at that. You can change your Whoop strap as much as you like. I do it all the time. I think it's wonderful. And um, the start of the year, going off 2024, I just felt I wasn't, it wasn't 2024 ring. I had a lot of goals and I felt really motivated to do stuff, but I just had a bit of a rocky start to the year. And honestly, my whoop was just in yellow and red. So you can see here, where were they? So this was the start of the month, uh, start of the year, 2024, and I was yellow and red. And then if we go into this week, she's a green gal. She's a green gal, she's been training hard and I feel so much better. I don't know if it was, because training was kind of the same. It was hard, it was, it was hard the previous week rather than this week. However, my stress levels were really high. And then my strain and everything, when my stress goes up, my strain goes through the roof. So overall, I feel like I'm in a much better headspace. I feel more productive. I feel more on it with work and exactly what I'm doing. January is a really, really busy time of year. I think if you work in the fitness space, you will kind of know that and understand it as well. And then also because I have like my challenges coming up, I don't know if I just felt really overwhelmed. Either way, I feel so much better and my Whoop is amazing and I love it so much. I know you, loads of you guys use my link and I appreciate that so much and the code and everything like that. So if you do want a Whoop band, so you get the 4.0 Whoop band, which is this included in the link. So you'll get it sent out for free and you also get a free month on Whoop. So you get the app and everything like that and you can just try it, see how it goes. Let me know if you've got any questions, comment below, but I'm gonna make some food because I'm starving. I have had one of those days today where I just, I, I've not, I've not stopped. Um, and you know what's actually really great? My protein actually sent me some of these pots. Um, so I think I'm actually just gonna put one of these in the microwave because I'm just, I'm just, I'm not the best with my time management at the moment regarding food and I do struggle. And I've been open about this before. So I honestly have to make sure that I'm just, I don't know, a little bit better with food because I'm a bit all over the show. These are the two, I'm absolutely starving today. So I'm gonna go with this massive, massive thing. Look at the size of that. I can't even show it properly. Tandoori mixed grill with rice. I don't actually know if my protein released these yet. Like, so if they have, go and have a little look on Iceland because this would be great. Per pack, so 594 calories. Um, protein, carbs. Carbs, 60, basically 59.8. Protein, 54.1. Go on then, I'll have a bit of that. You are joking me. If I could tell you how good this smells, look at that. I've had to put jazz music on because I feel so stressed. I've got a meeting right this very second. But I need to read you this quote. There is a lot that happens day to day. Negativity, negative people being a huge one. Keep your own power. One of the problems that happens when you're around a person or people with negative energy is that you can easily give them permission to steal your joy or otherwise impact your own state of mind in a negative way. Make the decision to hold on to yourself and your power and refuse to let the negativity have an impact on you. I know. We need a snackleton. I've also not taken my um, sups today. One of the ones that I'm definitely taking at the moment, these actually two, pregnancy gummies and hair, skin and nail gummies. I think I eat a lot of the gummies because they're just that delicious. Like, I probably overdosed on the gummy side of things. So I am gonna snack on. This is really good. Beef biltong. Cause I'm showing you everything I eat in a day. The velvetizer and the hot chocolate is being made. I bought oat milk 
today because I knew we were having hot chocolate. Me and Lauren have Loz and Lucy night every single week. Just to let you know that girl time is very important. Ooh. And then you just press the power button. Is it on? Yeah. Yeah. And then it just does it for you. <laughs> How wonderful. Dinner time, so it was obviously lovely spending some time with Lauren. We have a weekly Loz and Lucy night because it's really important to spend time with your girlfriends and everything like that. And she is my absolute will, so we had some time together. Um, I have just made dinner, so we have pasta, we have some veggies, we've got mange to tomatoes, and then we're gonna add on some cheddar cheese, maybe just a little bit on here. These are really cute pasta balls, by the way. I'm not sure where they're from, but they were a wedding present. It says here, it says, um, Miss and Mrs. Haldon, 24th of June, 2023. You can't really see, but it's really cute. But yeah, this is dinner. I just filmed a whole section and my mics are dead. Dead. No flashing blue light, which is a shame. But that's okay. I was basically just saying I'm having my last food of the evening. It's five past nine. It's actually seven minutes past nine now, but it was five past when I first did that video. We're having a, another big bowl of granola, but more fruit, more almond butter, more blueberries in this one. Definitely have cut out fiber for me, how my diet usually is. I don't have cheese seeds, not home prunes. And that is that. I'm quite tired. I'm very full. I'm very, very full today, but it is important to get all the food in. And here he is with your hair's looking lovely. Yeah, it really is. We are up at 20 past five. We're gonna go do a class at Hybrid. We've got an engine class. It's gonna be very steerig and eggy based. I won't put a thousand percent in because I've obviously got an ultra on Saturday. Tapering is hard anyway. You do feel really weird when you taper off. I mean, I am reducing my runs. I'm reducing my sessions. I won't do another leg session now, but I did a heavy leg session on Monday, Wednesday. I, if we've got legs tomorrow morning, I just won't be doing as much. Uh, but yeah, enough of that. I'll love you and leave you. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, stay tuned. Comment what else, everything else. Oh, next week will be the ultra video because I'm doing it in five days. Bye.